welcome to Behind the Music for Daily Hope. This is the last weekend before we embark into Lent. And so I'd invite you to come on Wednesday, Ash Wednesday here. We have two services at 4 and 6 p.m. And that's how we will sort of begin this penitential season of the year. But for now, we have one more weekend before Lent, before we bury the Alleluia and have this period of time before Easter. Now, the word mission is one that I'm sure you know. When I was little, my mom loved to read me mission stories, and they always seemed so dangerous. These people would leave their friends and their family and everything they knew, and they would get on a boat, and they would go to some country that we'd never even heard of. They'd be among people who didn't speak their language, who didn't eat food that they recognized. It was sometimes they were trying to be harmed. It was a very dangerous thing. There were lions, there were tigers, there were bears, and so as a child, yeah, it was very exciting, but for practical purposes, we can't all get on a ship and go to an island and minister to cannibals, that sort of thing. But that doesn't mean that when he gave the Great Commission in Matthew 28 to go into all the world, that didn't exclude the people that are around us. They are part of nations also. And so we don't have an excuse not to be missionaries. We can minister to our friends, to our families, to our neighbors. That's something that we can do wherever we are. We don't have to go to an exotic land to do that. We are all called to be missionaries. Now there's a hymn, and it's a newer hymn as hymns go. It was written in 1985 by Rusty Edwards. He's a Lutheran theologian, and he wrote this hymn kind of based on the Great Commission. It's called, We All Are One in Mission. And the second verse talks a little bit about how we can each do our part, even if that doesn't mean going somewhere far, far away. We can still go. Verse 2 reads, We all are called for service to witness in God's name. Our ministries are different. Our purpose is the same, to touch the lives of others with God's surprising grace so every folk and nation may feel God's warm embrace. And so that's what our goal is for this week. We're going to think about how can we go? How can we be missionaries for Christ wherever we are? Maybe that does mean we go to Orchard Africa or something. Maybe we do get to go to Navajo and help in a mission there. Or maybe it means we walk across the street and we have prayer with our neighbor. I don't know what, what uh, mission looks like for you, but we all are called to be missionaries. So I hope you think about that this week. How can you go? and help those around the world to find the love of Christ and help you enjoy this hymn. It might be new for you. You might already know it, but I think it's a great one. I'll be back with you again next week.